In this video, I want to do something slightly different. I'm always reviewing your GitHub repos and profiles, but in this video, I want to review some of my code from quite a while ago. And I'm a bit nervous, to be honest, because I think my code from like a month ago or six months ago wasn't very good. So imagine if I look back, well, the last commit was October 2016, which is like kind of six or seven years ago. Like that's gonna be pretty scary. Have you tried looking at your code, I don't know, years ago and see how it is? It's gonna be quite embarrassing. So let's let's have a look at this repo as a whole. Well, packages, releases, they should be hidden as I always say, but let's look at some code, right? The readme, okay, it doesn't look too bad. I really wanna dive in, I'm a bit nervous. Okay, so app.js, let's have a look. This is kind of the, the heart of the project. Everything starts off in an express project. Okay, it's not looking too good or bad, but I'm interested, let's go to root. Okay, let's look at something like kind of meaty, something useful, posts, right. Okay, we've got var, we've got require, kind of a bit old school, but you know, the imports weren't there, ES6 wasn't about back then, so that's a bit different. So you go easy on me there, go easy. Let's have a, a look at this. Well, my indentation is a bit all over the place. Okay, there was an async await, so we have to use then, and then was really amazing back then because back then, pardon the pun, because before that, it was like callback and callback hell. So uh, yeah, this was this was pretty, pretty good. There wasn't the ES6 functions that we have, the arrow functions that we have now, which is uh, very, very nice. What else can I see? Okay, equals undefined, that looks a bit nasty. And then I got this big if at the top, and then an else where really I could just put a return on that, and then this wouldn't need to be nested in an else, but oh, and it goes kind of a bit deeper again, a bit chaining. How much indentation have we got here? Okay, but before we kind of get carried away here, let's have a think. Maybe this this is an open source project, so maybe I can blame someone else. Like maybe I didn't write this. Maybe I just merged a pull request, or I was collaborating with someone on the project. I mean, should we have a quick look and see? Well, you know, GitHub has this awesome blame button, which isn't there to blame people, but you can see who changed what lines of code. So fingers crossed, hopefully it wasn't just me on this project. But okay, I was wrong. It was just me on this project. So yeah, I'm to blame. Literally, I'm to blame. Every single line is changed by me in August 2016. So mm, yeah, can't blame anyone else. But yeah, this isn't that great. But technologies have changed and moved on. But my point is, as Time moves on, even if technology doesn't change over a few months, you should be getting better. And the only way to get better is to look at your code previously and try and look at other people's code, especially in pull requests, because you get to see small improvements and small mistakes, and you get to see other people's comments, and people are reviewing those pull requests. So by you looking at those, you get to see other people's feedbacks and you can make your own decision. It doesn't have to be feedback on your code, it could be feedback on someone else's and you can learn from that. I don't know if we should carry on looking around. This is like a bit scary. So what else have we got down the side? Have we got models, got migrations, okay, these probably are quite small and not too bad. But who remembers these days? Use strict. That brings back some horrific memories. I don't see no node modules. Was there no NPM back then? I can't even remember. We've got a bin folder. I don't know what that's for. That's not even, you know, let's just close that and pretend it didn't exist. Travis CI. The time before GitHub Actions. Yes, GitHub Actions is just amazing. But okay, what else have we got? Oh, no, we do have package JSON. So we do have NPM. Okay, so NPM was around back then. That's good. So we do have this. Okay, so there's no lock file committed. So I was clearly messing this all up. Okay, this makes sense. So I've got dependencies and dev dependencies. This looks great. And I've also got a start. Okay, so it starts with the bin folder. Okay, that and WW. So that file is meant to be there. So that's good. Let's go back to package JSON. Okay, so not uh, not too bad. I'm uh, I'm pretty pretty happy. With that. I even had some tests apparently with um, DB migrations and then run mocker. Okay, not too bad. Not too shabby actually. So out of ten, I kind of rate this quite low. Definitely like in the in the low numbers, but not too bad for its time, which I think is quite interesting. Okay, it wasn't as scary as I thought, but let me know in the comments below how scary you thought this was. Okay, this is not something I would write now, and I highly recommend for you not to look at this repo and not to take any examples from this repo. But it's good to look back, laugh, and if we can laugh at our previous work, even if it was a few months ago, then we can uh, definitely enjoy 
being in tech and coding and seeing how fast technology moves and how much we learn all the time. And it's great to geek out with all of you awesome people in open source. And at this moment, we're actually really pushing forward with the Link Free project. Let me tell you a little bit about it briefly. The Eddie Hub Link Free project is designed to connect you to your audience via your social platforms and your content. And we've got some real time information coming soon. It is pretty awesome. So this repo is really active, like updated two hours ago, almost 2,500 stars so don't forget to star this repo link in the description below and show some support but you can create your own profile so if I go to the website you can see we've got over 1,000 uh, users at the moment an example profile this is mine you can see we've got my milestones I need to update those as well we've got testimonials you can give testimonials to other people in the community they can give it back to you and the events that I've got coming up and going to so hopefully I will see you at those events and I get to see your events in the community events tab so it's a great way to create your own profile you have to create a github pull request to add your profile to this project. We have a full doc section getting started. I'm actually going to record tomorrow uh, a video on the quick start docs, but they've got screenshots. But if you prefer a video that's coming out very soon, I'll embed that at the top. Add your profile. You get a green square for doing that. And then also contribute to this project. We do have over 100 issues and there are lots of pull requests. I'm going to spend my week going through these. So thank you everyone so much for contributing to our project. And no contribution is too small. I love doing community calls with you and geeking out on code and see what you're working how we can push this project further and further forward. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe below if you haven't already, hit the bell button so you get notified every time I post a video and go live. And don't forget to join the Eddie Hub Discord so we can geek out between live streams and video. Link in the description below.